Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play. Hard to find four guys for expanding government. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So we are quickly approaching the war against the Qing. So if we look at our um, national spirit here, we've got to declare war on the Qing before this expires, which happens if it will freaking load. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, it'll expire on the 20th of October. So we got like about like four months until we're really ready to declare war on the Qing. I don't know what the hell is happening the rest of the world is making the beginning of this, uh, making it so slow. I don't know. Uh, but our army reforms will be done in 38 days, which means we could press this right now, and in 45 days we'll go to war with the Qing Empire. And I mean, what do you do? Political power plus 60. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it. It, it gives me more points than I'm spending. Um, but aside from that, is there really anything we can do to make ourselves stronger? We get one military factory here. But the answer is, like, not really. There's not anything other than just going to war with the Qing right now that will uh, boost our power. So I think we're just going to go to war right away. See what we can get done. Again, our Air Force is better than the Qing. I, like, we don't know. I mean, Mongolia is still at war with Mac League. I don't think they're going to really get involved at all, just since they are, um... Uh, more Russian aligned, but they will slowly be killed. We now have 32, uh, Qing divisions on our border. Okay, that's a lot of Qing troops. Remember when the entire border was just filled with units with one, there's just like one infantry? Those were the days. Uh, now there is, how many do you have? We have 30 against 35, so we are technically outnumbered. However, there are still like three rival governments in the south, and maybe one of them will also declare war on the Qing. If, if, <laughs> God, I hope so. Uh, we are training a, a few more units. You know what? Screw it. Let's just get him on the field right now. I don't think we have time to wait. It, the, the war is inevitable. There, there's no avoiding it. Okay, the Dutch Revolution, not something that we really care about. But now we should outnumber you. Yeah, 37 against 35. Actually, we're a lot more even than I would like. How many troops, how many aircraft do you guys have? I mean, we have, like, twice as many planes, so we should be okay on that front. Um, the naval front, they do have more uh, boats than we do, but I don't think the AI is going to navally invade us, so I'm not too concerned with that. And we could, theoretically, I think, deploy two more units, but I, I don't think that makes sense. We don't have that much infantry equipment to make two units, and I'd rather save our equipment for uh, the upcoming war. Aside from that... Want to nationalize the Anchi San Thought? Dare to die, core. If you would die against the Qing, not winning, of course, but if you could just like distract them on this entire border, that would be beautiful. And again, Shangxi, they are allied with the Qing. They're adding five to thirty-one more divisions. That's a stupidly large variable. Who knows how many men that actually they actually have? Do we have any information on them? Because I know we did send a spy into Beijing. But not really enough to know too much. So we know they are manpower, though it's not, it's not a huge surprise. And we did see, yeah, we do have way more industry than they do. Which means that I think in a long, drawn-out conflict, we should end up doing a little bit better. I don't think we're able to see... Organization with 15%. Why do you have to have such good modifiers? Do we have any... What's our modifiers again? Stability, war supports. I mean, you're, you kind of suck. The Kwatang army also is, like, not great, but not too much we can really do about that right now. But the question is, and I don't think I can check, is what level of modernization are they on? We will be on three stars. This will be done in five days. The war's not going to begin for another 11 days. I don't believe we can call... We're saying troops to uh, my clique. Like, we can't call Japan into this war. Need 100 for the last point, but that's interestingly enough that I actually doesn't get rid of the entirety of the penalty. We just gotta kind of hope that the Ching's penalty is worse than our own, which it should be. Also, I need to make sure that this is. Yeah, there we go. I mean, yeah, like two and three, we, we can't really do anything with that. We got two more days. Recovery. This is what you wanna put in a foreign minister? No, you're garbage. Actually, I should look at that. Um, how are you guys all doing? 
Uh, I'm actually going to favor the Zane clique a little bit. There we go. Make sure everybody's a little bit more even. And the war has now begun. A little scary. Aluminum. Can we get aluminum from anybody? Yeah, we'll get some from the Russians. Produce more aircraft. Shang-Chi is now in the war, but that's not a huge surprise. The War of National Reclamation! The point that hours finally arrived in the coming days, the fruits of, of over a decade of extensive planning and preparation will finally be brought to bear against the enemy. In the first steps we taken on the path of national reunification. All that remains is to stride forward and to seize the moment. 10,000 years to Grand Marshal Zhang, 10,000 years to the Republic. Okay, so Ching Fenny and War has begun. They're uh, un uh, moving units around. The thing is, like, can I actually even attack? Like, what defense is that? 294 defense. His priority is a negative 8%. That's nice. A lot of um, bonuses to your defense there. Your organization, 46.3 on your basic infantry. Ours is 42.6. So, actually, we're about even. And like, the thing is, like, this is actually, like, a really, really small front line. 45. To, okay, so now they also outnumber us. Okay, hey, these are not great. 40 association. Yeah, we'll go with one more factory. Let's throw one more onto infantry equipment for right now. Apparently, we do need some steel. I will trade some steel with the Russians. And I don't believe we can call Japan into this war. I mean, you can still expel their officers, but that... Oh, no, we can call them in if we're losing the war. Benny in crisis... This will cause most Chinese warlords to support the Qing government. I'm not I'm not expecting to begin to lose. I will upgrade our bombers though. So they have 25 bombs in our territory. We have 50. No, why are you not flying over here? Oh no, that's the, that's the enemy bombers, obviously. They got 50 fighters, we have 78 fighters. Our bombers, I'm guessing, are not actually doing anything right now. Can you? Yeah, strategic bomb as well. Start bombing the hell out of there. Well, I mean, what four levels are they on? Level one? What I should then do, you should only at the moment be bombing forts. Bomb all the fortifications along the Qing border. That will improve our attack basically by 15%, which I think is pretty good. Also, is there any modifiers? That I should be weary of. Yeah, as far as I can tell, the answer is no. There's no event that's like, hey, you need to win the war in like 200 days or else you get a big penalty. Okay, but an unexpected advantage. Despite the cessation of all contact with the Shangyang infiltration force, reports have made it their way north of gunfire and chaos in the northern banks of the Chao Bai River. Seems that the heroes have avoided all detection, only to strike now at the opportune moment. Truly, this is an unexpected advantage. I mean, much push up forward, they are overwhelmed by the enemy response in greater numbers. Okay, so they get in Tangshan, which is you. You're going to get a negative 80% defense. Is that is that really is that true? Very hot. Vision regain, division defense. So the question is, does that apply to everyone or just to the Qing? Oh, their defense is now garbage. Oh, absolutely lovely. Even then, they still actually have decent defense. Weather negative 40, combat with minus 20. We're all succeeding in the combat with. I think it's just like, there's so many men here. Does it say how long this modifier will be in place for? No, it does not, unfortunately. Does it say in here? No. They have so many men. They have 55 divisions on the border right now. We can only deploy 40. And that's if I have the equipment, which I, I guess I actually kind of do. I mean, I could, I was going to say try to build like a tank, but it would be nice if we could import Japanese tanks. But Japan hasn't even researched a tank that we could import, so that's not helpful. Let's research close air support. And I will train... Three more units up. What's your combat with? Your combat's at 80. Actually, no, delete this. If I was to switch your combat up to 
20. We would have enough equipment for that. So you know what? Save that immediately. Make our units a little bit better. It should mean that we're not going to be taking any combat with penalties. And actually, it seems like the uh, Qing don't have enough supplies down here to actually... Um... Really do anything right now. But, like, again, we're outnumbered pretty heavily. 50 to 37. Like, th those are really bad numbers. I don't like them. What if we push everyone into this province? Or level of 1. Like, maybe we can do a little bit of damage. They have 194 defense. And that should be involving the... Weather negative 40. Is it considered a weather penalty? Yes, it's con technically considered weather. Which is a little strange. So again, I think that should theoretically also impact us. More propaganda. We already have 99%. We don't need that. And for our final level army experience, we need 100 uh, army experience here. And we're getting quite a bit from this combat. So even though we're not really accomplishing what I want, namely uh, killing the Qing forces and pushing our way through, we're getting the army experience is going to make our army a little bit better. God, they, they're so strong. What about the naval situation? Five to seven ships. We can maybe get like a naval invasion to work. Again, reinforcements, I'm going to set all these on top priority. I'm going to set you to low for right now. I say delete you. Send in a garbage division. Send, give me three garbages. We're going to send them for a naval invasion of um, probably this port. See if we can maybe rush away to Beijing. Also, we do need some more um, oil. We will get that from... Russia? Russia, give me one unit of oil. That should be enough, I think, for an aircraft. We don't use that much right now. Okay, it's not enough to actually stop the penalty, but it does buy us, I think, like 100 days, which is still pretty good. I'll take it. Thing is, you have 21, you have 16. And I believe we've already lost our modifier here. Yes. Okay, so we, we kind of squandered our chance to do Havoc. Mostly because they have way more men than I feel like they should. Because I, I feel like they should have zero. That, of course, would be the best for me. And how's the destruction on these uh, forts going? Uh, it's not going at all. Oh, can you not do a little bit more damage? 169. I think my clique won their war. Am I denying this or is that the one I'm selecting? Yeah, prioritize the fortifications. Should you have 50 fighters here? Something 21% of planes. They have low air detection. We also have low air detection. Yeah, like, maybe we're doing okay. No, MacLeak lost. How the hell did MacLeak lose? I really thought that they were winning here. By the way, anybody want to join my side? No. I mean, who else is opportunistic? Kamu Khanet. And I can't see them being that meaningful. Like, what if Mongolia were to invade the Qing? Basically, I just need anyone to invade the Qing. Like, if the KMT were to invade the Qing, you know what? I would grant them a lot of land. Like, I think that seems nice. Peace with the Qing. I mean, who else could theoretically? Okay, my clique joined the Zili clique. Which means that they've joined with the South. That's okay. How many men do you have? 1957. Like, I mean, it's still a lot, sure. But it, it, it could be worse. Wait, it's because we're on the Unon clique. No, the Unon clique's not part of any faction. Why? Material Minister, you're just garbage. Get the hell out of here. Okay, technology. Do we have anything that just gives us a bonus? 
So we could try to maybe put engineers into our army. We have 65 support equipment, so I don't think that's actually going to work. Um, what could I potentially do with this research slot? Industry tech? Yeah, industry tech. Get that going. It kind of sucks. Because right now, I honestly can't think of anything else that we can do other than just wait for some other faction to attack the chain. You've also joined with the Zili clique. So apparently everybody thinks that the Chongqing government is doing fantastic. Um, not happy with it. An extra military fact. Yeah, give me an extra military factory. Should I get Concordia down a little bit? So you know what? I'll give them a little boost. Just so the Japanese don't get too mad. What are we missing? I'm also going to put one more into support equipment. How much, if I was to put, I mean, engineering, are they even like the best we have? Engineering is good for defense, sure. We could add recon cavalry divisions. We'll be missing 131. It's going to give us more breakthrough, a little bit more defense. But the reconnaissance could maybe help us out. I mean, reduce the organization a little bit. Like, I wouldn't mind going for both. There's no way we could afford both. So what if we remove you? Just have the engineering company in. It actually gives a decent breakthrough. And actually a lot, yeah, a lot of defense. You won't have the reconnaissance. But I think that's okay. I'm going to save it. We're going to be down a small amount, I think. 529. Did I screw up and I put both in there? No. So we're missing some support equipment, but I don't think that should matter too, too much. Maybe we're going to throw, like, a third factory in there. Hey, like, the Zeely clique, do you want to just invade? Do you want to just invade the Ching from the south? Or Canty, do you want to just invade these guys? Or I don't know who else, like Mongolia? I don't know if Mongolia is really going to get themselves involved too much anymore. Six to two, five to two. Can you reach this province? You could. 65, 64. We are, we shouldn't go over the combat width because I've set my units to be 20 combat width each. They're taking a negative 30% penalty off of this, which I think is quite nice. It's a really, really strong border. And I'm guessing your biggest issue is that you're missing the... Yeah, the support equipment. Which, like, isn't that bad? Is that shang -Chi right there? I believe it is. God damn. Yeah, because they have these guys with them as well. 6 to 30. At minimum 32. We know they have more than 32. They can have up to 105 divisions. Are you, are you out of your mind right now? Right now, we see 55, so I'm assuming shang -Chi's probably keeping some troops behind, and I'm sure maybe the Chang are keeping a couple of troops back here. Okay. You guys are on operation. I'm basically sacrificing you. You know what? I'm going to make... I was going to say make you worse. Do I need to make you worse? No. I think you're fine as is. Just go to this port. We don't have naval invasion tech. Okay, let's research naval invasion tech. Um, how long is that going to take you? 105 days? Cool, cool, cool. Better rifles does not make sense. Because I don't want to switch my rifles out right now. I think that would just be a mistake. And equipment's still looking good. Our manpower is still fine. And I want to get this naval invasion happening ASAP. Because again, we take Tanjin, we take this other port. And then we just, like, take Beijing, or just, like, try to make sure the Qing are just not on our border. If we can just take troops away from here, this is all we need, is to have units be literally anywhere else. I just don't know when that would be. It might be in, like, a month? Maybe, maybe that's when another faction will attack? Maybe it'll be in, like, 400 years. I legit, <laughs> I don't know. 61 now. Okay, so they have a lot of men. 
There's no denying that. I don't think you guys are really going to do too much with the Z leak leak uh, based on your current position. We have 60 days left on you. War support goes up a little bit. We get a bonus for land doctrine. I just need things to make my units better. Going companies. Could get more steel. I mean, that, that's something that we could do. Because you're going to one more factory, which I think is really nice. Be done in about two weeks. Yeah, maybe we go for the mines and just try to get more natural steel production. But I think at least right now is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. I do give a thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.